The end of the American Civil War in 1865 effectively meant the end of slavery. Four million Negroes were free. Free under the Federal Reconstruction Acts for the first time to own their own homes. Free to go to school. Free to vote and hold public office. But African Americans were in for a long struggle before they were finally awarded equal rights. As of 1870, all eligible male citizens were able to vote. However, blacks were discouraged to by violence and eventually legal stipulations. In 1896, the Supreme Court ruled to maintain racial segregation in private businesses in a case called Plessy v. Ferguson. Soon broadened to include schools, many southern states applied this separate but equal mentality to all aspects of life. This led to the application of Jim Crow laws, which resulted in blacks being treated as second-class citizens. Segregated schools, public transit, restrooms, water fountains, and more continued well into the 1900s.